Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I am so excited to be sharing my love of makeup and beauty with you all. The warm weather has finally hit where I live. We're totally seeing the start of spring and I am so excited. Spring really makes me want to switch up my makeup routine, add some more color, add some more bright and light, um, even some pastels. So today I thought I would share with you my personal top 10 favorite palettes for the spring and summer. Now I know not everybody in the world is going into spring and summer right now, but there's no reason you can't incorporate spring and summer vibes into your makeup in the fall and winter, or vice versa. And keep in mind, we all have different makeup preferences, so if your top 10 are not the same as my top 10, that's a-okay. Friends do not have to agree on makeup. So in no particular order, let's get started. So the first one I have to share with you is the Glam Light Glam Donut Palette. This is the more colorful of the donut palettes. It looks just like this. This is actually the palette I have on my eyes today and I love this palette. It's more pastel than I normally would go for, but I do really like it. The colors can really be built up. These blues down here can go from very light to very deep and you can really keep packing on the intensity without it getting sort of muddy that sometimes happens with shadows as you blend and add more color. I really, really like this one. I also love this color in the middle. I don't use it as a skin highlight, but I think you probably could. Personally, I like it better on my eyes. I just think all around, this is a great, vibrant, fun, bright, colorful one for spring. Plus, I mean, that packaging is just so cute. The next one I have here is the Uoma Beauty Queen to Be Mini Palette. I recently posted a review of this palette on my channel, so if you're interested, I will link that in the cards up above there but I'm really enjoying this palette, especially for the spring. It's got all the same kind of spring vibes that I want without being purely pastel. It's a little bit bolder than a pastel, it's a little bit more intense, and it's just got richer tones to it that I am really drawn to, but it's still in those spring colors, those pinks, that yellow, that green. It's still very much in the spring tone without being spring pastels and I love that. And if you're interested in seeing a look with this palette, it is in the cards. The next one I have here is the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. I think this one is a great all year round palette. Um, you can definitely take it quite deep, sort of fall tones with this darker row over here. But as a whole, it's fairly light and bright. It can go very sort of lime green, pops of yellow. Um, it's got this sort of pop of pinky orange in here. I really like this for all seasons, but for the spring, I'm really enjoying this. This is a fairly new palette to my collection, but every time I use it, I love it. I do have a review coming soon to this one, so if you're interested, keep an eye out. It is on its way to my channel. The next one I have here is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. This one came out for Valentine's Day of 2020, and I just love the tones in here. I really, I like a good pink look for spring. I think pink is really fun, and I think it suits a lot of skin tones. I love that this one's got the option to go much lighter pink, or you can go quite a bit bolder, a lot more intense. It's got this really fun sort of silvery color in here, which I think really adds to a look, especially when you're trying to go you know, brighter and fresher for spring. I really like adding some cool tones to my pink. I think this is a great, great palette for the spring. Um, not just for Valentine's Day, but the whole spring and summer. Next, I have the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Now, this is very different from the rest of the palettes that I have in this list in that this one is actually not colorful at all. It is a neutral palette. Um, but there are lots of people out there who even in the spring don't want to wear bright colors, and that's totally fine. This one can be a great option for those people who are wanting to bring something new into their spring makeup routines, but that's not super bright, super colorful, super intense. This one is fantastic because it's got those really nice warm tones, as well as a huge variety of depth. It can go very, very light to very, very deep. So it's really got a nice sort of variety in terms of the kind of look you're going to get out of it. You can really take it very, very just minimal daytime, quick one and done kind of shadow all the way to like going out to the beach and a nice summer party, COVID safe of course. Um, so I think this is a great, great spring palette if you're someone who doesn't want to add a bunch of color to your spring eyeshadow. 
Next, I have the ColourPop and Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette. Last time I checked, this was still available, but if you're looking for a palette with a sort of similar vibe, the Lizzie McGuire palette is very, very similar, and that one is definitely still available on the ColourPop website. I love this one for spring. Sorry, it's very reflective, it's hard to see, but I love this one for spring. I think this is a fantastic spring palette because it does have some more bright colors along the bottom there. That's really hard to tell on camera, but they are quite bright, but at the same time, they're not overwhelmingly bright. They would work for a variety of people. They would work even if you're not sure yet about using too much color on your eyes. They're still good colors because they're soft and they're buildable, so you can take them quite light or quite intense if you want to. I like that it is half neutral as well, so it's got a lot of ability to be versatile in terms of the types of spring look you want to work with. And because these colors at the bottom can be built up to be a little more bold, it goes right through the summer as well. So I think this is a really good one if you're looking for a ColourPop price range. When I think of makeup for warm weather, I immediately think of yellow eyeshadows. Yellow to me is just so fun and happy. It makes me think of the sunshine and spending time outside. So the ColourPop Low Ray of Sunshine palette is absolutely a must have for my spring and summer. It just looks like this. It is a beautiful all matte palette and it goes from very light to very dark. There's some sort of more pastel-y colors. There's some quite intense like canary yellows in here. This one in the middle is very vibrant. And so it's got a lot of versatility in terms of the types of yellow look you want to do. It works fantastically if you're into all matte looks. You can just totally use it on its own. You can also pair it with other palettes or with some special singles you have. I really like to pair this palette with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Hustla Baby, which is too dark for me on my own skin tone, but I do use it on my eyes as a beautiful eyeshadow and it pairs so, so, so well with this palette. So I think that is a really, really good spring and summer look. And I just, I love yellows. Yellow eyeshadow makes me happy. Another palette that just screams summer to me is the Alomar Cosmetics Rina Del Caribe Volume 1. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, please let me know. I love the tones in here. First off, the packaging, like with the, the leaves and the flowers, it's just brings me to a tropical vacation, which I haven't been on in a very long time, but I love the vibes of this palette. These sort of rich orangey red mattes, they pair so nicely with the blue shimmers or the champagne shimmers. You can really kind of go very bright. You can add the blue as a waterline or a, a lower lash line if you're not sure you wanna do a whole blue lid. I just love this palette. I think the colors are great and I think it, every time I put it on, it makes me think of being on the beach. Now the next one I have here probably wouldn't traditionally be thought of as a spring palette by most people, and that is the Club Nebula palette by Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. I love this palette, and I've talked about it a bunch on my channel, so I won't give it too, too long of a review, but I do actually think this palette works really well for spring, and here's why. If you cover up this one row of the really deepest shades, you actually get a very bright and vibrant palette that doesn't go that deep. Now, if you want to deepen up a spring look, you totally can. There's no reason spring has to be light and pastel. But if you want to go lighter and more pastel, there is, you know, this sort of really neon green. There's the light blue, there's the shimmery blue, there's Seamus and the um, nebula down here, those peachy kind of colors. You can go very light with this palette and you can make a much lighter, brighter look if you just ignore those three at the end. And if you wanna bring this a little bit deeper, you can totally use those three to make a nice, deep, rich look as well. So I think this one is really good for the spring and summer. It is also restocking this month. Angelica has confirmed it is being restocked on April 14th. I will leave the time down below if you're interested in picking it up on the restock, but I do think this is a fantastic, fantastic spring and summer palette and I plan to be using it all year long. And the last palette I have here is the first palette I think of in my collection when I think of spring eyeshadow, and that is the Huda Mercury Retrograde palette. It just looks like this. It's another shiny one that's kind of hard to see, but I love this palette, and I think of this immediately when I think of spring eyeshadows. It's got some very beautiful, like, pastel-y tones in there. It's got some really gorgeous sparkles, but it's not all pastel. It's got some neutrals, it's got some much deeper tones, so you can really kind of take this in any direction you want to go. 
and I really, really like how versatile it is. You can keep the look very bright and spring and colorful. You can take it a little more neutral. You can go a little more, you know, work appropriate if your office or your workplace has rules on those sorts of things. But you could also go very bright, very vibrant, really sparkly. I just think this palette has a lot of versatility and the colors are exactly spring in my mind. So that is all 10 of the palettes that I had to share with you today. What are your top 10 springing palettes in your collection? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below, and otherwise I will see you in my next video. Bye!